Right now, investigators are combing through what's left of a popular Southside restaurant. Fire swept through Nipsey's early this morning. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemigno always investigating. And Suzanne, there's been a recent push to shut this business down. Well, Marie, Brad, I want to show you something first before we get to that. Take a look here. Right behind the black fencing that you see, we just learned a short time ago, demolition crews have been brought in. They're going to be tearing this building down for safety reasons. The roof caved in right after the fire. Many in the community are sad to see this iconic building go, but not the business that was inside it. Chicago Fire Department crews battled an early morning extra alarm fire here at Nipsey's Restaurant and Lounge in the Calumet Heights neighborhood. The state fire marshal, arson investigation unit, was among those on the scene looking into the cause of the fire. The building had once been home to the iconic Tropical Hut and a Leona's restaurant in the past. 8th Ward Alderman Michelle Harris says the most recent business here, Nipsey's Restaurant and Lounge, opened about two years ago. She says customers created a lot of problems for many in the community. They drink, they leave their trash, they have shot up ent an entire block, they're fighting. This is video of a fight inside Nipsey's over the weekend. The video was posted on social media. We're blurring out the faces of those involved. It's been chaos. Since day one, it's been fights, um, people urinating on our properties. Um, throwing trash, um, shootouts. Felicia Fleming lives right behind the restaurant and lounge. Every Friday and Saturday, we just literally hold our breaths and just, you know, try to take it one day at a time and hopefully that every other weekend it gets better, but it never got better. The city's Department of Business Affairs and Consumer Protection has held numerous hearings about the restaurant, the most recent last week. In the past, the business has been cited for exceeding occupancy limits, failing to keep a record and call police about illegal activity, and failing to display a sign telling patrons to respect neighbors, exit quietly, and not to loiter. We're in mourning about losing our building, but the community has worked with me and fought hard, tremendously hard, to eliminate the business and not necessarily the elimination of a, a building icon in our community. The next hearing involving Nipsey's is taking place on March 11th. Alderman Harris says the business owner may be asked to surrender his business license at that time. Reached by phone, the business owner told me he is devastated. He's out of town and he's on his way back here to Chicago to see this devastation firsthand. In Calumet Heights, Suzanne Lemigno, CBS2 News. Suzanne, thank you.